Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and in today's lesson we've got 18 licks over a minor blues. To make this lesson easier to follow along you should head to onlinesaxacademy.com and download the free PDF that accompanies the beginner version of this. And premium members can head to the premium library and get the intermediate and advanced level PDFs along with the performance and backing tracks. If you're not already a premium member then you can just head over to the membership section where you'll be able to sign up. So for each of these versions, we're going four times through a 12 bar minor blues. First of all, for this beginner version, we've got six phrases using just the blues scale. So for alto saxophones, that's the A blues scale, and for tenor saxes, that's the D blues scale. Now, because we're playing just with the blues scale, you'll be able to use any of these phrases at any point during the form. Now, we're gonna be trading four measure phrases, so you're gonna hear me play a four measure example, and then there's a gap for four measures. Now, you could use this in a number of ways. You could either repeat that phrase you've just heard or you could improvise your own answer phrase using that blues scale. Now the number one thing to consider when you're improvising is not how many notes you're playing, how many techniques you're using, but it's the rhythm and it's the phrasing. Even if you're only using two or three notes, you can still make a phrase sound really good just by the way you're playing it. Another tip for your phrasing would be try ending your phrases either on the first degree or the fifth degree. So for altos that would be the A or the E, and for tenors that would be the D or the A. These notes are the most stable notes within the scale and they often sound good to finish off a phrase on. All right, so here's the beginner version. Next up we've got the intermediate version and with this I'm using more of the chords to inform what kind of scales and things I'm using. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail with the theory here today. Down in the description below I have another video talking about the theory of what you can play and where over a 12 bar minor blues. Now because I'm outlining the chords more you won't be able to just repeat these phrases in the next four measure phrase. So I would recommend trying to play along with me on the four measure phrase and then in the four measure gap you can improvise your own answer phrase. Okay, so here's the intermediate version. Thank you. 
Okay, and finally, next up, we've got the advanced version. It's still the same structure of six phrases over four choruses, but I'm using some much more interesting harmonic ideas. If you'd like to delve in a little more and understand how these licks were made, I have a practical music theory course at onlinesaxacademy.com where I step you through from the beginning all the way up to things like melodic minor theory, enclosures, chromatic passing notes, so that when you come back to these phrases, you'll start to understand what I'm using and why. So as I mentioned earlier, if you'd like a bit more detail about the kinds of things you can play over a minor blues, then check out this video here. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week.